Hi, today I'm going to show you how to solve the error java.net.socket-exception-connection-reset. So basically, if you ever got this Minecraft error right here, we're going to talk about how to solve it. Okay, so the first thing that you want to check is if the server you are connected to in Minecraft is working or not. So maybe some servers have um, their status is up on their websites or whatever. Then you want to try to use a wired internet connection because Wi-Fi signals can sometimes mess up your connection and you can try resetting your router and modem. Um, that's uh, always the first step you, you should do is try to reset all your internet devices. And then try to use maybe a mobile hotspot or another source of internet just so you can check if the internet coming from your modem is uh, is working. But if all of that does not work, here is what you can do. First of all, we're going to open CMD. CMD. And you're just going to open this right here. And now we have a set of commands to input so that we can check the status of our network. The first, uh, the first uh, command we're going to input is going to be net, then sh, then interface, then tcp show global. This is a big command, so it's probably going to be in the description. So you can just copy and paste it in your CMD. But basically, you do that, you hit enter. Oh, I wrote interface, excuse me, interface, TCP show global. There you go. Okay, now what we're looking for are these two parameters here. So right now, for me, they're on enabled and normal. But if this uh, scaling state is on anything other than enable, so this, this can be like anything else, you need to type in the following command. So net sh tcp interface uh, configured global rss equals enabled. So what this is going to do, it's going to set the side scaling state to enabled where it should be and if this auto tuning level is not at normal so this is this is a command it's probably going to be in the description as well so you don't have to type it out you can just copy it i'm going to just delete that if your receive window um auto tuning level is on normal that's fine but if it's another value other than normal then we have this command it is net sh tcp interface and then set global auto tune level equals to normal and there's probably a space here but i don't think it matters that much okay so these are the two commands that you can check um, just uh, in CMD. This is the first step. Then after you've done this step, you go back to Minecraft, you try to connect. If that doesn't work, we can move on to the next step. The next step is trying to update the network uh, driver. So to update the network driver, we're going to go here to search, device manager, and then in device manager, you're going to find network adapters. And on network adapters, there's going to be a bunch of different network adapters. You want to try to find either your Wi-Fi. Yeah, this is this is my Wi-Fi adapter. So this would be uh, you need to find something. It's probably going to be a different name. It's, it's sometimes dual band wireless AC three or AC some number, but you're going to figure it out. It's going to have wireless or Wi-Fi in its name. And then you need to update the driver. 
And when you update the driver, it's going to search automatically for drivers. And if there's any possible updates, it's going to update that automatically for you. So um, that's the second one. And then the third method, if, if all else fails, you need to set a Google DNS. A Google DNS is basically when you type in uh, a, a domain name in your browser or when your computer is looking for a name, it corresponds to the IP address that is associated with the name of the website. So how we want to change that is we go down here to the network icon, right click, open network and internet settings. Then you're going to click on Ethernet. In the Ethernet, we can see we're connected on network 5. We're going to remember that. And then we're going to go to change adapter options here in the related settings. Now we click on our network 5 that we're connected to. And we're going to click properties. On these properties, you're going to see Internet Protocol version 4, IPv4. It's important to see the IPv4. Then you click on that, click on properties. <clears throat> and yours is probably going to look something like this. I already have it set up to my custom IP addresses and the DNS server. If it looks like this, then you just click on use the following DNS server addresses. And then you just type in 1111101001. These are Google's. DNS servers and they work pretty well. Um, so you just want to type that in. You want to click on OK. I'm going to click cancel right now so that it saves my uh, existing preferences. But you just want to type this in, click OK, and you'll be good to go.